61 years of being in football teaches you some unbelievable life lessons and thing that I can pass down to hopefully to all these kids is that be the same person in prosperity that you are in adversity. What do you want for your birthday? For my birthday? Jeez, you sound like Julie. Um, a win. You heard it there. UTEP football head coach Dana Dimmel turning 61 years old today, and the birthday gift he wants from his team is a win. Coach Dimmel and his UTEP squad will head to Miami, Florida to take on FIU in a Conference USA game on Wednesday. Today, UTEP had one final practice before departing to Miami. At practice, UTEP starting quarterback Gavin Hardison had no pads on and was still wearing a protective sleeve on his throwing arm. Meanwhile, Fourth string quarterback Cade McConnell continued to take a lot of reps with the starting group. UTEP second stringer and Kevin Hurley was backing him up. Remember yesterday, Hurley returned out of concussion protocol. As far as who will get to start at quarterback on Wednesday, that is still a decision Coach Dimmel isn't ready to make. It all starts with how Hardison is feeling tomorrow. We'll find out about Gavin tomorrow. You know, that's pretty much the candidate where we are, right? And if Gavin is good and, and able to uh, uh, perform what we need him to perform, he'll, he'll start the game. Yeah, just have to fill it out. Honestly, just have to fill it out tomorrow and see, but hopefully it'll be good to go. If I can't go, then I'm going to be totally supportive of those guys and, and, and trying to get a win for this team, and I have a lot of confidence in those guys. It's really a mystery right there um, as to um, – you know what's going to happen and then we won't announce our starter you know until game time on who it'll be Kate or Kevin. So a lot of questions surrounding UTEP starting quarterback position uh, that's led them to going from six and a half point favorites to one point underdogs. We'll see who gets to start at QB on Wednesday when UTEP and FIU face off at FIU Stadium.